The Little Leaguers to some pigskin. Our score previews continue tonight with a stop in Sterling where Camille Gear tells us the Golden Warriors are hoping for a successful and healthy fall. It was another successful season for Sterling in 2021, but the Golden Warriors were left wondering what could have been. It's really tough because we knew how good we could have been last year if that all didn't happen, and yeah, it just really sucks. The Warriors did win seven games last fall, but key injuries, especially late in the season, led to an early first round exit. You know, Sterling football expectations are really high, so seven and two regular season seems for most schools that's a really good year, but for us it's kind of a down year. Um, you know, that's not the standard for this program, and. You know, first round exits aren't something that we're used to and uh, we're not going to get used to those. This year, Sterling has reloaded once again with plenty of talent on both sides of the ball. Yeah, we bring, we bring back some kids that, uh, that we're really excited about and some younger kids that have worked in the weight room. And, and like I said, we've had a couple kids move in. We've had a couple kids uh, come out for the first time that we think can be really good you know, football players. And with a little luck on the injury front, the Golden Warriors expect to play once again long into November. I mean, I want to I want to win state. That's the ultimate goal, but you know, we got to take it week by week and set set short-term goals, but that's the ultimate goal. In Sterling Camille Gear WQAD News 8 Sports. Sterling will open their season on August 26th when they welcome Lake Villa to town. Our score previews continue tomorrow at 6 p.m. with a trip to Rock Ridge. Don't forget the Quad Cities only half-hour high school football show is that's right, the score it returns here to WQAD Friday, August 26th at 10.35.